Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. And I got a question about uh, should I find a side a partner for a side project? That's a lot different than the question of should I find a side partner for a project? That a side partner is a, is a different thing. We'll talk about that later. All right. So <laughs> the question is uh, the second question. Uh, this must have been a, a long email that I cut. <laughs> the second question concerning side projects. I was wondering if I should find someone with whom I could do a project together, <clears throat> as I believe that would be more motivating. However, uh, from my friends and former course mates, no one seems to be too interested. So I was trying online, but most of those communities are quite small, so it's very difficult to find anybody. Uh, any founder and founders dating <clears throat> seems to be too serious. I don't want to create a startup right away. So I thought maybe your community is large enough. There are like-minded people and you could set up a forum for us where we could also be sort of a project fair where we could discuss ideas, give feedback and find teammates. So I'm not going to set up a forum right now, but I will consider that. That I think that's a, a decent idea. But I want to talk about the idea of should you find a, a partner for a side project, and and how you might do that, and, and kind of the value of that. So I'm I'm a big fan of finding a partner for a side project, simply because it becomes boring to do something by yourself, and you need that kind of support and community. I'm I'm very uh, fortunate in that. A simple programmer, I've, I've brought on a partner, uh, which is uh, Josh Earl. He does a lot of the, the copywriting. He, by the time you're watching this video, he might actually be a full partner in the company where, where we've got an arrangement together. But I did find that I was, you know, locked in an office by myself all the time, just like recording videos and, and writing uh, blog posts. And I was going a little bit crazy <laughs> doing that by myself all the time. And it's nice to have someone to bounce ideas off of, to have a, a mission that you're, you know, it helped me to take things to the next level, to be able to have someone that, uh, that shares the vision that, that you're, you're, you're charging together, you know, towards. So I think that's really important. And I, I feel like I might have given up or maybe not given up, but I wouldn't have gotten to where I am today with Simple Programmer had I not brought on Josh as a partner. So that's, you know, that, that's just my experience with that. And I've seen so many projects fail and so many people fail because they lose mo momentum, right? And especially I can remember when I first started lifting weights or first started working out, one of the best things that I, that I did was I got a, a weightlifting partner and that kept me motivated and we kept each other motivated because, you know, Sometimes one of us wouldn't want to go to the gym, but you got to show up because the other guy's there at 5 a.m. waiting for you, so you got to go, right? So that's, that's, that's how it works with side projects as well, I think, is that if you can find someone dedicated. Now, here's the key, and it's the same key that I, that I said with the gym, was that you got to find someone dedicated that's actually going to follow through and show up because a lot, of, most majority of people, you know, if you got a weightlifting partner, they're not going to be dependable and they're not going to show up, right? So I found, you know, I've had different weightlifting partners when, as I've been, been lifting, and I've always found people that were like as committed as I was, that, that are at least as close, close to as committed as I was. I know they're going to show up and they're not going to flake out on me because they could actually, by being more of a flake, make me more of a flake and make me miss workouts and, and fail. So you got to have someone that's going to back you up that's sort of at that level. And I think that's where a lot of people that try to bring on partners into side projects fail as they have these ideas and, and no one's really committed to it. So you got to be committed to it and you got to find someone else who's committed to it. So if your friends just think, oh, it'd be kind of cool to make a game. No, bullshit. <laughs> that, it wouldn't be kind of cool to make a game. Like, it would be cool if we're going to devote four hours every day to making a game and we're both going to commit to this. That would be cool because then you'll actually make a game and you won't just bullshit all the time and, and, and never accomplish anything, right? You know, if there's a real big value in becoming a finisher. I did this blog post a while back on becoming a finisher. It was a life changer for me. Read this blog post. But if you start this project, you want to finish it. So I think there's a lot of value in it. If you can't find a partner for a side project, just do it yourself or start it yourself. You can always bring someone on later when it has momentum. I know that one of the things like 
very often I would get invited to side projects that people were quote starting, but they had so little momentum that I just didn't trust that they were actually going to follow through and do something. So I, I never, I never joined them. But you know, I have actually helped some people with side projects that have already got, have gotten things going, and then I could, I could jump in and, and help out, and I could see that they're actually dedicated. So that will also help you as well if you're looking for serious partners is that if you already have some momentum going uh, um, but yeah I don't I don't know of any any really good good sites that you know I, I think that I mean the founder partner the, the only or founder dating I think the, the problem with that is that most of those people are looking for big funding startup venture capital money they want to do the big startup thing and that's cool but that doesn't sound like what you want to do you just want to do a side project so yeah I would say that either you know, it would be helpful if you can find a partner, but either find a partner that's going to be committed or just do it yourself. But, you know, don't, whatever you do, don't get flakes. If you bring flakes on, it's going to make you flake and the whole thing is going to be, be bad and it's just going to be a waste of your time and frustration. I've done it too many times. So there, I hope that helps you and, uh, and I hope you're able to find a, a, a partner. If you guys want to, if you want to coordinate, I mean, in, on this video and find some partners for some side projects, leave some comments below and, you know, you guys can coordinate and I'll, I'll tr help facilitate that as I can. Maybe I'll do a forum or something. I mean, if, if you really want that, like thumbs up this video and leave a comment and say, damn it, John, make a damn forum. And, and, and we'll see. I, I can't make any promises, but if I get enough momentum, then maybe I'll do it. All right. If you like this video, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below. And uh, you might not be able to find a, uh, a, a co-founder or a partner for your side project, but, uh, but you can find a lot of like-minded people here at Simple Programmer. Uh, a lot of people just like you that are motivated, that want to improve their lives and want to improve their careers and, uh, and, and don't want to be mediocre. So join if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.